going back to Pike County Middle School. I have been teaching middle school for the past 13 years. I have taught 6th, 7th, and 8th grade math, and this has been my first year teaching the STEM lab here at the middle school. I was asked to start it up this year after teaching gifted math, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade for the past two years. The biggest benefit, the kids see how everything they're learning academic hall pertains to one class. They come in here and they're working on their reading, their language, their math. They're doing math skills with social studies. They've got it all in one classroom. And that's one thing I tell them the first day. I said, if you're struggling in academics, over here we're going to do everything, all those academics in one classroom. The students come in and their first day, they're like, wow, are we in a college classroom? Because they like the setup of the room. And then we start explaining, you know, what they have to do, that this is more of them having to do it. I'm not teaching it every day. That I'm here to facilitate their learning, but I'm not going to shove it down their throats. They have to actually do it and ask questions if they don't, under get, don't understand it. They leave me, and I see them in the hall, and they're like, can I please come back to your class? I, I want to come do it again. I, I, I didn't really get this, and I, and I see it now. I want to come back and, and try it one more time. And they're begging, you know, standing at the door, please don't let me go to my class. I want to go to your class today, and I have to shoot them away. Um, the science lessons, um, when we first started the program, I noticed that some of the kids were getting done a lot faster than the others, so a way to help keep everyone motivated and sort of in the program doing what they need to do is letting them pick science lessons that pertain to their science that they're studying for each year. So the sixth graders do earth science, seventh graders do life science, eighth graders do physical science, and it's just a list of the science labs that correspond to their science, and they get to pick the ones they want to do. I talked to the science teachers and I looked at the Georgia performance standards and then pulled what I could out of there, what met what the program had and then what the Georgia standards said the students needed to meet. So the eighth graders all use hands-on um, modules and they love that and even the teachers come back and say, oh, the kids are talking about what they've done. The seventh graders relates all to life science, so some of them, they don't truly understand it when their teacher explains it, then they get a better understanding when they come through me. And then the sixth graders, all about earth science, and they love doing the solar system and gravity and all of those. Having all the kids doing the same thing every day keeps them focused, you know, they look back, oh, so-and-so's doing that, when, when am I going to get to that, you know, where's that at? And you have to walk them through where they have to go. But yes, it's wonderful having them all in the same boat. It's not always my gifted who are ahead of the game, but some of my regular ed kids who just excel in it because it's logical thinking, it's, it's what they know, it's not just all about the book.